Uh, Hamish, welcome back. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. You too. Did you get any of your own projects done over the uh, holiday break? The uh, the only real project I did, I fixed up an old tractor and got it fired up. So that was quite fun, cleaning out the fuel lines and doing all the bits. I felt quite, you know, manly in there, tinkering around the machinery. I bet nice. you did. <laughs> okay, it's summertime, of course, and uh, well, summer seems to be continuing for us. So outdoor lighting uh, is on the key. We're entertaining, doing things like that. So I rocked along to Lighting Plus. Had a chat to them about what they've got. To be fair, that's a lot. Yes. Uh, but I brought along some samples for you, okay? Okay, cool. Would you like me to be the switcher on? Would yeah. you kindly? Okay. Uh, the switcher. So the first ones we've got here um, are the Sens Sensor range. This is the Sensor Tri Bar, three bars across the right, top. Right, that makes sense. This is the larger size. Down here, we have it in the lower size, so you can get it with or without the bars. They are great, sort of entry level bulkhead lights. Mm -hmm. Best bit about them, 20 year guarantees. Wow. So, and so great. when you're in the salt spray areas, which let's face it, a bulk of New Zealanders live around the outside, mm. they're going to work perfectly for you. What are you looking for for your outdoor lights? When well, you, you're, choosing? You, you're going to want to find something that's fit for purpose. So if you're wanting something that is um, going to light around a front door, you probably don't want something that's glary because right. you're standing at it. Mm. It's, it's nicer to indirectly light things. Okay, nice. So these are going to do a great job of just giving you ambient light around the area of the okay, house. Brilliant. That's nice. So that's our first option. That's right. Okay, now we're going to the metro. Mel, would you mind turning the metro Always, on for me? switch these ones as well? Yes, please. Oh, is that the That's one? right, top one's good. There we go. So the Metro is a tubular up-down light. So you can imagine this on either side of your front door. It's going to light up the weatherboard. It's going to give you a great sort of architectural look there. Yeah, That's true. Nice. Yes, you're right. So you've got it coming out both sides. That's yes. right, and it's okay. in a graphite colour, which I think is quite nice. Nice yeah. change to black. Yeah, uh, yeah it's really cool. Should I turn this one on? Turn that one on, right. Down below we've got the cube, okay? Spelt with a K, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> now this is good because there are a lot of people out there who don't really like round fittings anymore. They're into that square thing. Yeah. So there's something for everybody. Perfect down light, nice and soft. Once again, you can use it for barbecue areas, you know, out on deck. Could you put it down low as well? Or yeah, well you could put it down. You can put it down wherever you want. And if you're down low, it's going to give you nice pool lighting around your feet. Once again, these two, 20 year warranties. So they're going to be durable in the environment. That's right, because they are outside in the elements, aren't they? So you want them to last a long time. 20 years. They are. No, I'm going nice. to need my note, because I need to remember what the name of this glass is called. OK, the next range is the Lido range. OK, you're turning that one on yourself. I'm going to turn there. these ones on. I'm going to do them in order, too, because it's going to be kind of fun. This is the Lido range. They are um, made from cast brass, OK, nice. which is fantastic. And they use halothene glass. Hadn't heard of that before. Now, the halothene glass is this banded glass that we see in the top. Okay. Very so, Art Deco nautical looking are, as well. They are very nautical looking and they're European made, so they're really good quality. Now allow me to switch on. I'm thinking okay, of the first one. Yes. Right. Oh, there we go. This is the Art Lantern. Now you see, because we've got the halo thing glass with the stripes, it puts yeah, a little the pattern bit of a onto pattern. the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah you get cool. the pattern on the very wall. Very nice. And the cool thing about that is if you've got more of a plain wall, so maybe it's a concrete wall or something like that, it's going to give you some interest on what otherwise could be a little bit simple. Okay. Well, Love I was going to ask you that. Yes. So uh, what sort of decor on the house would you be having to use a light like this? Like, where would they sit best, do you think? Does it well, matter I mean, what you've got? You, you know, I don't really think it does. You know, you're probably not going to go in your super modern house. You're going to go for something more refined and, you know, streamlined looking. But on anything like the old villas and the old bungalows, and if you're near the beach and you build a new modern ah, home, nice. but maybe it's just clad in vertical weatherboards, and these are going to work well. And, of course, you know... OK, well, let's I, move I on like to the next, next one. Sorry, I'm running out of time. time. I just get so caught up. This is your bulkhead, OK? Same principle, same halo thin glass. It's going to light down low, good for your patios, your decks and your driveways. Lovely. Love that brass. Let me look. close that one now. There. This one here is the bunker. I like nice. that. I like, I like the bunker. Very boaty, Mel. You'd yeah, like that. I do, and I very do like subtle it. in its lighting, OK? It's down low. It's just going to illuminate an area as opposed to sort of brightly light it. Great thing about these is they're going to weather and they're going to get a much more aged patina as they go. Great, I love that nice. one. Very Allow me nice. to turn that off. Now, of course, this year the Cote de Jure of lighting. Yes, which We've is. We've talked about it before. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. I'm bringing it up to you. I'm bringing it up to you. You're going to guess what it is. Pass it along. Oh, oh nice. The Festoon light, folks. Oh, yes. And uh, the best bit here is here. You can get two adapter <gasps> kits, which make it very long. Look Whoa, at this. Oh, and these go outside? These go outside. And the great thing is, because you can just join them on, you're only going to have to have, oops, oh. some of them I didn't plug in very well in my sampling oh. clearly there, did I? Oh, these are good. Nice Keep going, Mike. Keep okay. going, Mel. Oh, We've got okay, a long cool. way to travel. We have okay. got a long way to travel. But the Festoon light is a fantastic way of decorating the outside area of your home. You know, I 
like the uh, the white ones? Wow. Oh, 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 we just keep on giving, <laughs> don't this we? Is good. There we go. We're at the end. And okay. let me quickly pop across these, of course. Oh, the white ones. These you can untangle these before you. No, come I didn't. Let's put them in a pile. Let's just call that creative. It's, it's, it's a it's a piece of art now. It's it an is. art installation. So right. obviously you've got the clear ones if you want that sort of traditional look. You've got the RGB ones, red, green, blue. So you've got oh. your LED colours and the variants in between if you want something with a bit of pizzazz. I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Always a pleasure. A lighting plus are in the midst of their summer savings sale. Head down to receive 25% off these outdoor lights. Lightingplus.co.nz.